गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज शोरज पटेल एंड वेलकम टू मैथ्स ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल राइट सो लास्ट वी डिड सम प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन डोमेन एंड को डोमेन द रेंज सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज आर काइंड्स ऑफ फंक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन ओके टाइप्स ऑफ दी फंक्शन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन ओके टाइप्स types of function okay functions are function or function right b so you know already what the function is defined as okay so the special relation okay special relation where the domain element domain element have both <coughs> okay a domain element have at least one pre image well, more at the most one pre image that is the called a special relation as function so f is a function defined from a to b right so the so a is called domain and b is called co domain also called okay so proper subset is called also range means subset of the coordinate range and this is the image the pre image okay the image also called image of a ha huh? major function of a right the called pre image pre image right so types of function you know already discussed <coughs> last year last year also first you see one one function many one function and two function into function one one correspondence okay let's read the details right okay so already you know We have the domain and codomain, right? Functions we have domain and codomain, right? So I am writing a domain, domain and codomain, right? The function we can write also here. So that is B the function, right? So it depends on the okay nature of the domain. We have one one. Many one, right? And the nature of the codomain we have onto and into. Okay, the nature of the domain and codomain we have onto. Okay, one one and onto. One one and onto. This is called one one correspondence. Correspondence one one. Again, nature of the domain we have one one function and many one function. And nature of the codomain we have onto function and into function. And nature of the domain and codomain we have onto and one 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 and onto function. Uh, this is called bijective. Bijective means two or not? We are going to say two sets. By adjective, so this is called a surjective. S C U R J E C T I. Subjective. On to is subjective. Okay, let's go. <coughs> let's not go to the uh, sub different defined subject. On to is called subjective, and uh, okay, one one and on to is called by adjective, right? <coughs> What is one one function? Right, so what is one-one function here? Okay, sir. One-one function. Let's take f of x is equal to from a to b, whatever it may be. Okay, sir. Then define n to a natural number. So, and f of x is equal to two x plus one or two x. Be two x only. See, for every element of n, we have the exactly one element of n. Right, not x. You can take the x only. Okay, for every then it becomes okay. Code may becomes a range. Okay, that be for every natural number. You have the exact natural number for every for one. You will get one. For two, you will get two. For three, you will get three. Right. This is called one one function. Right. One one means okay, sir. X one. X two, X three, X four, X five. You should have 
y1 y2 y3 y4 right infinite should only one element maps to other element one element maps single element okay sir one element maps to only one element in the codomain this is called one 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 means this is one this is one for one output one output for in one input one output this is called one one let's see the many one okay let's take the f of x is equal to x square and uh, x belongs to integer value positive or negative x square c <coughs> 
at least one output not at least at the most okay at the most one output one output means there is a y is equal to f of x and x belongs to domain of x means y is completely depend on the x values only y is depends on only x values only there is no extra c there is no no element which was y is belongs to not belongs to x okay there is no element in the core domain okay where y belongs to range of f okay means core domain core domain if y belongs to core domain if y not belongs to x okay <coughs> not y belongs to x y not equal to f of x means y not equal to f of x and y belongs to core domain we will write it completely see if y is not equal to f of x ok means y belongs to core domain ok this is called core domain so if y belongs to f of x y belongs to f of x becomes Onto function. Okay, this becomes into function. I will tell you next. Okay, if y not belongs to f of x is called into function. If y belongs to f of x is called onto function. I think so. This is the easiest form. Okay, into function is okay. into function is so okay. What are it maybe x one, x two, x three, x four, x five, y one, y two, y three, y four. Okay, sir. Here, see, I do the infinite. This is the mapping. Okay, you can do also. See, you have the element y3, many elements. Okay, so here, range is a, okay, sir, in, into function. This is called into function. Into means map figure okay, into is uh, x is domain is mapping into the code domain. Into. Into with there are many elements. It is ma mapping into means inside the elements inside the core domain. On to means exactly on, okay, exactly on on the core domain. Into means there are some other elements. Again, it's not mapping to all elements, mapping to some elements in the elements. Into means in the elements. That's called into. Okay, sir. And this is when is the RFF is a proper subset. Proper subset means elements less than okay. Okay, elements less than <coughs> single element less than equal to which one uh, a set uh, sub subset is the number of elements subset is less than the main set mm -hmm. universal set set main set okay subset is not a proper means subset is okay sir. this is called a is not a universal set how to write universal set okay elements of a n of a right is less than elements of okay elements of a means elements of b elements of b in less than elements of a means b is a subset of a if b is a subset of a then n of b is less than less than less than not less than equal to less than n of a a is the universal set main set then b is called a proper subset means uh, less elements less than or less than the set elements right this is called proper set means here range is the core domain many elements but range has only some part of element that is called into function range is a proper subset proper subset right and the function is like the function is both one one and on two one one and on two is called one one correspondence it's also called bijective okay one one and active correspondence called bijective again on this again i am explaining again on the basis of the domain we have one one function and two function one means one input one output one input one output right two input two output three input three output is called sorry <coughs> one one function for minimum function two output one input 
three output, one output. That is called many one function. And based on the nature of the code, we have onto function, into function. Onto function is all the elements of a, a domain have the at the most one value in the code domain. Right? Images. All the elements of the domain have at least at most one pre image. Only one pre image. That is called onto function. <coughs> right? <coughs> and the into function is means into function is the uh, domain code domain is a, a range is a proper subset. Range becomes a proper subset, then function is called on into function. Means there is an element y belongs to code domain, the range of uh, means code domain. Y belongs to code domain where y is not equal to f of x. Right, sir. Y is not equal to f of x is called into function. Is y code is called onto function. That's the one one means one one of the means function should be one one and onto right means there's a one element to the same that means the domain should be equal to the number of elements in the domain should be equal to the number of elements in the range okay so based on this we saw again some different kinds of functions are there as the identity function First one is identity function. Okay, first one is types of means kinds of function we call also kinds of function or types of function. Different form of functions are called identity function. Identity function. Identity element is like the one into two. Okay. First one into one into two is equal to two into one is equal to two. What is done? One is the identity element of multiplication. Similarly, zero plus two is equal to two plus zero is equal to two. Zero is the multiplication additive identity. Identity means it does not alter the given conditions. Okay. Similarly, in I, the function is okay. So, you are writing this I A is a function defined from A to A. A to A. And f of x is equal to x and x belongs to A. X belongs to A and f of x belongs to A. Y, f of x belongs to A also. Means the and means function mapping on the same set. Okay. So the map is okay, the function is mapping the function function is mapping on itself. Mapping on itself. Okay. Without changing the conditions. Okay. Common elements is called. Identity function. And it is one to one. Okay? The function one one function. You can focus on function one one function. One one function. Right? Okay. One one function for one element has the other. Again, add to function. There's exactly one range is called. Okay, and on to okay, and on to also there. Why? You know, this is only mapping only is equal to getting corresponding. There is a wall y minus is equal to y is equal to f of x. Right? Y is nothing but elements of x. Right? 2 is equal to 2, 3 is equal to 3, 4 is equal to 4. Means this is the x, this is the y. So here y is equal to x. So this is one one correspondence. We can tell one one correspondence. Right? First one is identity function. And uh, next one is the next one is constant function.
constant function second one is constant function let's write some upper side constant function how it written as the function f of a to b and again f of x is equal to b okay and x belongs to a and b belongs to b such that right sir b is equal to only single element we have I am playing b is equal to only single element and b belongs to b it belongs to a this is the called constant function b is called constant element right <coughs> this is a this is b this is x1 this is the xn this is the element b okay all elements are mapping to single elements right i can scan f of x is equal to 2 f of x is equal to okay sir any value depends on the set if it is r we can take any value if it is z we can do the integer values if it is a natural number we can take the natural numbers natural <sighs> maybe okay 10 to the power and n belongs to n what will it may be constant function we can see not 10 minus 10 set 10 to the power 10 should get the real number okay means uh, fixed number constant function Okay, next one is the next one is equal function. Equal function. Equal function we can define depends on the other value. Equal function. Equal function. So that is the fourth is a function from a to B again J of is a function from C to D right <coughs> okay so F of X is equal to G of X it is C to D or A to B no not C to D this is A to B A to B and the answer. Okay, D of F is equal to which one? D of is equal to D of Z. D of F is equal to D of F is equal to D of Z. Right, sir. They have given a range. I B okay. Equal function means f of x equal to g of x. They give the same output. I think so. If correct me, and range of f is equal to range of g. Because let's consider one example. A is equal to zero to. A is equal to 0 and 2 and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and function F is equal to <coughs> function F is equal to x plus 1 Function f of x let us see f of x defined from a f of function defined from a to b and g also function defined from a to b and f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to Okay, x square plus 1, I think so. x square plus 1. 
x square plus 1 and x belongs to a. What are the values of a? f of 0, f of 0 is equal to 1 and j of 0 is equal to 1 and f of 2 is equal to 5 and j of 2 is equal to which one? 5. See? Same domain, same range. Right? Domain of f is equal to 0 and 2 is equal to domain of g and range of f is equal to 1 and 5 which is equal to d and not d and r and f r and g again okay, equal function domain is equal to both domains are same both ranges are same that is called equal function right then zero function is Zero function. Think so for G R O function. Okay. The function mapping from A to B and f of x is equal to zero. Right, sir. X belongs to A and zero belongs to B. Can I write? 0 such that b is equal to 0 and you have studied empty set right yes sir. right okay so it's generated by 0 it's generated by f of 0 0 function so mapping to 0 B has the only single element, zero element. All f of x, all f of x is equal to all x belongs to A, all f of to the zero only. A and this is zero and B. Okay, x one up to x n unknown. Okay, so this is the mapping. Zero element. Then what is it called? Monotonic function. Monotonic function. Very important. For your next level also graduation. With the monotonic function. Increasing function. Decreasing function. Sixth or fifth. Last one I think so. Monotonic. Monotonic function. Monotonic function, right? <coughs> Let's take the example f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, right? See for all values, okay? f of 2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1, this becomes 4 plus 1, 5. And f of 3 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 1. This becomes 6 plus 1, 7. Let us see, sir. Okay. 2 is less than 3. Okay. I am writing as x1 is less than x2. Right. Implies. See, 5 is less than 7. Okay. Sure, I have to take some different examples because I have to show strictly increasing strictly decreasing okay then this implies that f of 2 is less than f of 3 so this, this symbol is there no? this symbol less than symbol this is called this condition is called f of 2 is greater than okay f of 2 is less means f of 3 is Greater than f of 2 for f of 2 see f1 x1 less than x1 x2 x2 this implies that f of x1 is greater than f of less than f of x2 
this is called strictly you can strictly this if not equal to okay this is called strictly increasing strictly increasing again i'll take the another example f of x is equal to x square right f of minus 2 is equal to 4 and f of plus 2 is equal to 4 square function so what is here minus 2 is less than 2 so again but f of minus 2 is equal to f of 2 right is equal to 4 if the function is like that okay if the function is x1 is less than or equal to this symbol x3 equal to then this is called answer increasing function increasing simple increasing function increasing function means it is not decreasing you can see also it is not decreasing strictly increasing and increasing function let's clarify it right f of x1 is equal to f of 2 okay. then decreasing function one is increasing function one is decreasing function strictly increasing function and decreasing function let's see here <coughs> take the example f of x is equal to 1 by x square right x belongs to here yeah, okay. define i am taking a random values so you can put the different condition so f of minus 2 is equal to 1 by 4 and f of plus 2 is equal to 1 by 4 right for other values okay and uh, take the example again f of x is equal to and take 2x 1 by 2x or 1 by x you can take also 1 by 1 by x right <coughs> this is let's see minus 2 is less than plus 2 this implies that f of minus 2 is equal to f of 2 this i am writing as okay sir f of 2 means okay x1 is less than x2 this implies that f of x1 is greater than equal to f of x2 this is called decreasing function decreasing function decreasing function right see here see i use the symbol greater than if the function is getting equal or greater than one that value is called a decreasing means you know what will be called this will get the again value f of x that means uh, 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 function 1 by 6 1 by 8 means this is like that but you can get also no? 1 by 4 is equal to equal to 1 by 4 also the symbol is this one is called dec simple decreasing function. So then consider this one. Okay, f of two is equal to one by two. F of three is equal to one by three. See here, two is less than three, right? This implies that f of one. Okay, f of two is greater than f of three. Inverse function, not inverse function, reciprocal function is called. So, this is called means if x1 is less than x2, and this is equal to f of x1 is greater than f of x2, then this is called, greater than function is called strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing function strictly decreasing function very important monitoring function monitoring function are two decreasing function increasing function strictly increasing strictly decreasing depends on the sign right then even and odd function even and odd function 
it is 119 and 2 and we call constant function only single element mapping all the domain of element mapping to the range is unique element in constant function range is only constant element and uh, uh, zero element zero function it is called all the element of domain mapping to the element of zero only single element again okay, zero right and uh, another one is equal function the domain and range of the functions are same is called equal function right range i am not telling the codomain range and uh, which one zero function equal function okay yes that is modulo function modulo function for every okay the x1 less than x2 small value greater value implying f of x1 is less than okay f of x1 is less than f of x2 f of x1 is less than increasing function f of x1 is less than f of x1 less than f of x2 increasing function right for x1 less than x2 strictly increasing function uh, only sir this is the f of x1 f of x2 strictly increasing f of x1 f of x2 greater than equal to f2 greater than equal to f2 less than equal to f2 this one f of x1 f of x2 equal equal or either sir is equal or more be equal or more it's called uh, decreasing increasing function okay if it is more than f of x1 is less than f of x2 strictly increasing similarly decreasing function for all input of f of x uh, x1 less than x2 we have uh, f of x1 is greater than or equal to okay sir with the f of x1 f of x2 greater than or equal to greater than or equal to okay greater than greater than or equal to this one right this is the call and strictly decreasing means <coughs> f of x1 is greater than f of x2 these are the kinds and types of the elements in next class we will solve the questions based on the these properties I have to prove whether the one 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 to injective subjective bijective okay plus so then is the composition of functions means functions are the function okay next class we will solve the some okay define question from the uh, example also from the annual exams and complete exams okay and uh, thank you thanks for the watching